Hello, welcome back to the second step of the paper subscription integration. In this step, you are going to learn how to create a product. In my previous tutorial, I taught you guys how to generate a token in order to have an access to the paper REST API by exchanging your paper credentials, your client ID and your secret key. All right, for this second step, a product captures goods or services offered for a subscription, as we all know. So, in order to do, you're going to create your product by calling the products. So, using this call script, okay, as an example, we're going to copy that as always and go to our call to PHP in order to convert the call command to PHP script, okay? So, from here, it says a successful request returns the HTTP response status code, which is JSON response. So this is what we're going to get. This is the response we're going to get once we run the script. Okay. So we'll head over here and paste our call script, and this is what we have. Like normal, we're going to copy out that. Move over. So this is our create product.php okay I think there's an error in the naming just rename that yeah so. all right this is our asset token the, the, the one we did in our previous tutorial So, I think I need to add an exit function here so it doesn't. Get back, copy that, and paste it. All right, so what changes do we need to make here? Remember, once this script runs, Will be redirected to createproduct.php, which is this file. So in order to get our access token, we are just going to on top of here. I'm going to define a variable, just call it token, and use the php get global variable to get the token so the name is what access token access underscore token remember it's case sensitive all right so this is where we paste our access token as written here so i'm going to cover that clean that up then you use a function called uh, raw raw URL encode function. So here it says we need to add our mentioned generated ID. Okay. So now this ca can be a, a unique ID okay a unique id preferably an id that changes as unique to every customer okay so to do that we can just define a variable just call it unique underscore id then run any php function that gives a random strings that could be our merchant generated ID. So let's just use MD5 function. And to make it more unique, just use another function, call it unique. Unique ID function. Okay. So we're going to clean this. We're going to clean this. 
and pass the unique ID variable. So this variable is gotten from here. All right, so we are down to here. Just going to clean it like before. Get this. And just just paste it. Sorry. Yeah. So if there's any error, echo this X else. If there are no error, um, remember what we need here is is just the product ID. That's the thing that we need here from this response, this product ID right here. So, so that is what we'll be assessing. So define another variable called it response. Then JSON underscore decode in order to get it as an object property result. That's the result variable there. So our product variable will be product ID. Product ID. Then the response access. Access wait. So access this ID right here. Access ID. But before then, let's just comment this out. And dump this function. Response. Oh, we don't need, need it. So if we dump this function, These are the response we're going to get, but what we're interested in is in the ID as mentioned many times. Okay, let me just dump the product ID. Can just comment this out. So once we run this script, the access token will be passed in this URL, which is gotten from here. Using this get global variable, the token is being passed by this authorization header. Unique ID is also passed. Then once it is processed, we get our product ID on this response and we'll dump it. So we are going to test run this code and see what we get. Uh, yes, site doesn't respond due to network. Try that again. Why is it not responding? All right, if you have gotten value, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up in this video. All right, it has worked. 
so this is our product id this is our product id that we need so our code is perfect and this is the create product.php before i forget remember to in order to test run all this in your internet connection must be on that was why i was having problem i think so this is the product id that is what we need so just comment that out so if the product id was fetched so if that condition is true we'll now use our header function location the third step is to now create our plan so our php file will be now plan that is where we'll be heading at that is our third step okay and paste your mark pro dot id equal to concatenate that pass the product id variable so this variable that is being gotten here will now be passed okay from here passed it to that url Okay, another thing we need is also need the access token, the same access token that is being passed because we need it to create our plan. As you can see, this is the coil. We need the access token and also the product ID in order to create our plan. So we also need to pass the token. Concatenate that then and access token equal to pass our token variable. Alright, that's just about it. After that, use our exit. exit function so after our create after we have finished creating the product we'll go to create plan.php file this is where we we'll need to create our plan which is the third stage all right please give me thumbs up on this video so that others can be able to see it it helps to upgrade the algorithm all right thank you i'll see you on the third step